Jackson Volleyball, Ottumwa hosted East. Ottumwa's Peyton Crosser gets the kill for the Bulldogs. Ottumwa won its last regular season game of the year, 25-17, 25-16, and 25-16. Next up, Davis County traveled to Cardinal. The Mustangs' Amber Cassett gets the point. The Cardinals' Andia K Andrea Kaser gets the kill. But in the end, Davis County wins it. Three to nothing. In other action, Kirksill lost to Hannibal 25-21, 25-11. In college volleyball, Truman State stopped Southwest Baptist three to nothing. In cross country, Kirksville was at Mexico. In girls action, Hallie Dollins was seventh. Briar Scrogsburg was 13th. In boys action, Brett Davis was fourth. Chris Hooper, 25th. In high school football, Kirksville will host Moberly Friday. It's pretty simple. Kirksville needs to win to have any chance to make the playoffs. Emotions will be sky high, and that's why the Tigers need to play within themselves. We have just got to settle down and play our football game. You know, you can't run down the field so fast on the kickoff trying to hurt somebody that um, you forget to do your assignment and make a tackle. If we keep control of the ball and keep control of our emotions at the start, I think we'll be in a, in a tight football game and hopefully come out on top. Putnam County will take on Princeton for the midgets this week. The key words are focus, focus, and focus. That's actually been one of our common goals this week because, you know, we had a great first half last week, and then we came out the second half, weren't, weren't so focused, and we got to get better at that. Milan will host Marceline in what should be the de facto district championship game. Milan is 8-0 on the year. Part of the reason for the success is they don't let the little things bother them. We're pretty good about moving on and uh, getting to the next play. And, you know, uh, our kids know we, we just plan on playing 48 minutes, and that's something that uh, we take a lot of pride in. Sigourney Kyoto has always taken pride in its running game, and the Cobras believe that if it's not broke, don't fix it. Colton Griner, he's, he was leading the, the district in uh, total yards, rushing and receiving. You know, he's kind of our big play guy. Mark Wachter's our, our every down, you know, pound it back. He's a big kid. He's just getting those tough yards you need. Saturday, Missouri will face an Oklahoma State offense that is averaging 49 points a game. The Tiger defense will need to come up big. Once again, Brookfield's Luke Lambert will lead the way. He's healthy. His knowledge of the position is really fun to watch because he can do a lot of things back there. He's not thinking at all. He's almost like a coach on the field. And uh, had a really great game last week, but he's been really been playing very, very consistently for us. And that's been really uh, great. The conditions were brutal at the girls state golf tournament. Crooksville shade Shorten end of the day with a 115. She finished in 72nd place for two rounds of play. Nice job. The Truman State men's basketball team is working hard under new coach Matt Woodley. One thing you'll notice about the squad is there are plenty of athletes on the team who can change roles at a moment's notice. We just made it a priority in our recruiting class that we wanted to recruit guys that could play multiple positions. We just really want to be interchangeable on both ends of the floor so we can play against any style.